professional athletes are floating right now. They use it both for visualization before they do whatever it is they're doing. Mm. Um, and, you know, I tell my clients, too, if you ever have something very stressful in your life coming up, we were talking about a move earlier. Yes. Moves can be stressful. You know, tests can be stressful. Weddings, big ceremonies, all that sort of stuff. If you come in and float first and kind of visualize whatever it is that's coming up that's creating a lot of that stress in you, you're going to go through with a tank in your head and it's going to take the stress away. And then when, when it ha actually happens in real life, you're going to do better than you would normally if, if you hadn't floated. Hello, Mr. Family. Welcome back. I am Miss Champagne, your health connect. And the goal is to connect you with people that can help you on your health and fitness journeys. And I am so excited because we are in a treat. We are in for a treat today. Woo, y'all. So yesterday I had the opportunity to float for the first time it was amazing i am calm i cannot wait until we talk to the owner here at synergy float center uh if you have not floated or if you don't know about it i need you to get all the way in i need you to come a little closer and pay attention so we can learn because this is what you need to be doing for healing just for mind body and spirit just for you to relax and calm down because stress stress gets to get you we already know so we're here with chris Jones, I'm so excited, the owner of Synergy Float Center. I just want him to explain what floating is. So you've got a lot of energy. Yeah. <laughs> floating is very relaxing. It's almost like meditation on steroids. Um, ah. I was never really able to meditate prior to floating, but basically you get in a float tank, it's about 10 inches of water, it has a thousand pounds of Epsom salt. So the salt is so dense in the water that your body literally floats on top of the water. Um, you don't have to try to float, it's not like being in a pool. It's very similar to being in like the Dead Sea in Israel or uh, the Great Salt Lake. Actually, our tanks are saltier than that. And of course, we use medical grade Epsom salt, so it's a lot cleaner and healthier for you than those things. You combine that with what they call sensory deprivation, which I really think is kind of a misnomer. It's more of uh, sensory enhancement is a better term for it. But basically, you're in, you turn off all the stimuli, external stimuli, and, and you're floating. So there's no gravity. There's no external stimuli. And it kind of focuses your body that's always focused on external stuff to kind of focus to flip inward and focus on internal stuff so the meditation naturally occurs um, the beauty of a float tank i think it's kind of the one therapy out there that synergizes uh, mind body soul all at once you cannot really separate them um, so it just helps helps us relax you know it's stress release um, in today's world you know stress i think is a silent killer so and I don't think enough of us do a lot of good things to make sure we live in a stress-free environment. So mm -hmm. that's kind of why floating is amazing. Um, that is so true. I just want to say when he said, you said sensory deprivation, it was completely dark. I feel like I didn't have to worry about anything in the darkness. And the floating was amazing, guys. Ooh, we're going to learn a little bit more. But I just want to know, well, how did we get here today? Just story. So I'm a retired military. I spent 26 years uh, in the actually the Army, the Navy, and the Air Force. I actually retired out of the Navy. The Navy is where I spent the most of my time. Mm. I was an intel officer, so I kind of traveled all around the world. Um, wow. And when I was getting out of the military, you know, I was checking in with the VA, and I expected the VA to kind of pat me on the back and thank me for my service and tell me I was fine to go on about my daily life. But they actually came back and said, no, you're, you've got PTSD. You've got a traumatic brain injury. Um, we want to give you medication and give you group counseling for that. Um, I refused the medication flat out. I said, I'm not going to take that stuff because I'd done some research on it. And it kind of makes you walk around as a zombie and mm. gives you all kinds of other side effects that you then have to take further medications for and everything else. So I was like, yeah, I'm not doing that. Um, then uh, I tried the counseling as well. I me mean, being a military guy, you know, like most guys, we don't like to admit we have problems or like to talk about our problems. So yeah. I was yeah. kind of quiet, bump on a log. I didn't say much during the counseling sessions. And actually I was in a group counseling session and, and it didn't really help because they put me in a group that had guys that are missing arms and legs. And oh. one guy's half his face was, you know, burned off. And I was like, how can I compete with my little mental stuff against mm. these guys? So there was no way I was going to open up and, you know, waste their time talking about my stuff. So, uh, so I kind of, you know, took it upon myself. I was actually down on vacation in Peru and I was hiking the Inca Trail or a section of it. And I met all these 
new age people um, mm. that I would have normally never associated with being a military guy who strictly believed in, you know, Western medicine was the solution for everything. Yes. But then I started hanging out with these new age people and they started telling me about all these new age alternative modalities. And huh. floating was one of the things they mentioned. And even though there wasn't a float center in Peru, they were like, hey, you should really try it when I was explaining what I was going through with the PTS and the traumatic brain injury, et cetera. So when I came back from Peru, I floated at my first place. It's actually in Bethesda. It's called Hope Floats. Um, it's a commercial place like mine, and I floated there, and I knew right after my first float that this was something amazing, and, and it was for me. I remember just driving there. I went, I was working at the Pentagon at the time, and I went through rush hour traffic to get to Bethesda, and I was cussing because everybody's cutting me off. You know, the traffic around here in D.C. is kind of crazy, and if you're from here, everybody kind of knows what that's about. So, so just being in traffic would get my blood pressure up and get my anxiety up and my stress levels up. And so I was super stressed out when I walked into Hope Floats. And I was like, there's no way this is going to work because I'm so stressed. But I got in the float tank and everything kind of faded away. And after the float, I got out of the float and I made the same trip home. I was still in rush hour. Mm -hmm. People were doing the same stuff to me on the roads, but it didn't bother me. I was like, huh, they're obviously in a hurry. They got something going on in their life. I was a lot more compassionate. I was a lot more understanding. Wow. And it didn't fire me up. So that's what made me think, hey, there's something to this floating thing. So I floated a couple more times at a, a couple other commercial establishments. Up in Annapolis, there's two there. Um, there wasn't one in Old Town at the time. Um, so I think I floated three times at a commercial place. And then they make this home version called a Zen Float Tent that I bought and put in my home. Mm. And so I started floating regularly three times a week. Uh, Floating invigorates me. For some people, it tires them out. She's one of the yes, ones that I it tires them out. Tired. Um, so I would float in the morning before I'd go into work and working at the Pentagon. Everybody's running around with their hair on fire, and I'm nice and zen and calm, and everybody's like, what do you got going on? So I started to tell people about floating. And uh, once I started floating regularly, you know, I lowered my blood pressure, lowered my cholesterol. So other than what? the stress relief and the anxiety relief, it lowered all these other things. It helps with aches and pains. Um, one of the nice benefits too, it also helps with inspiration and creativity. So one day I was sitting in my Zen float tent at home. I, it was never a bucket list of mine to open a business or to run a business or, and I didn't even know how to run a business. But one day it kind of came to me in a float tank, you know, you need to think about opening a float center. So I was like, huh, planted that seed and I, I bought into it hook, line and sinker. It was almost like the universe was kind of speaking to me. So I uh, went back to school, got an MBA, started the whole process of building the center. Um, built it from scratch, kind of used the float center as my project throughout the, mm -hmm. the entire process. Uh, so we opened November 17. Um, and yeah, we're coming up on our third year. Uh, awareness is getting out right now. It's it's good. I mean, our weekends are, are packed solid. So if you haven't yeah. tried floating, I would encourage you to try to come in. If you're going to try to book for a weekend, you probably want to book by like the Wednesday before that weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, but during the week, it's still pretty wide open. You know, we're open from 9 in the morning till about 10 p.m. at night. So on Wednesdays, we open at 7 in the morning, so if you're a morning floater and want to come in before work, you can do that on Wednesdays, and then it's, we stay open until 10 at night, so for the people that you know want to float after work, because floating tires most people out, so yeah. it's good to float in the evening so you can go home and go to bed, and then you'll have like the best sleep ever, because it's pretty amazing uh, yes. after the float. <laughs> Eight hours of sleep, and I normally sleep five or six, and I have interrupted sleep because my brain is always going, I was knocked out. I was gone. <laughs> And you were telling me, because I do want to hear, maybe if you have some success stories from other people, but I know when I floated, I, I normally keep a little edema in my feet. I don't know what that's about. And yesterday, it was gone. I didn't feel my boots weren't as snug. I lived with it. I was shocked. It was amazing. You were telling me about inflammation. Right. So floating is pretty amazing. Like I said, it kind of puts your body into homostasis, bringing it back to, to, to balance. Um, and, and it does it in so many ways. Again, swelling goes down, inflammation, uh, it, it battles inflammation. If you, you know, work out real hard or run a marathon and you're sore afterwards, you come in a float, that soreness is going to go away. A lot of professional athletes are floating right now. They use it both for visualization before they do whatever it is they're doing. Mm. Um, and, you know, I tell my clients, too, if you ever have something very stressful in your life coming up, we were talking about a move earlier. Yes. Moves can be stressful. You know, tests can be stressful. Weddings, big ceremonies, all that sort of stuff. If you come in and float first and kind of visualize whatever it is that's coming up that's creating a lot of that stress in you, you're going to go through with a tank in your head and it's going to take the stress away. And then when, when it ha actually happens in real life, you're going to do better than you would normally if you hadn't floated. You asked for some good results. I had a girl came in here the other day. I think she was taking her ACTs, a uh, high school girl, and she'd taken the ACTs her first time. It didn't do very well, and then she oh, kind of came in okay. and floated, was running through some of the things in her head, mm -hmm. and then she came back after her ACTs, and she's like, 
I got my best score ever. It was awesome. And, and so she kind of credited it to the floating. I've had uh, floating helps with so many things, but it works with depression, anxiety, uh, PTSD. Um, but I've had two people that have come in here, both ex-military, uh, young, young military types that were on the verge. They were super depressed, on the verge of suicide. And uh, they actually floated. And uh, they didn't tell me that they were suicidal until after mm -hmm. their float. I kind of mm -hmm. met them in this lounge where we're talking. And they kind of turned to me as they were making themselves some tea and said, you know, I was going to, I had a gun by the bed this morning and I was going to off myself. But after that float, mm -hmm. I have no desire to do so anymore. So, of course, I turned around and gave those guys some free floats. And we got them in and, and got them floating yeah. regularly. Now they're members and they, they, they float here all the time. And they're off of that suicidal tendencies. Wow. And they, they feel like they're, uh, you know, a vital part of society now. So, oh, so no. uh, another good example. Um, I've had other people that have had, you know, health issues. You know, the tests come back on livers or kidneys or something like that. And the mm -hmm. doctor's are like, hey, we're going to have to go in and do surgery. And they float regularly and, and the body just kind of helps heal itself and brings all the numbers back to normal. Like I said, for me, it lowered my blood pressure, my cholesterol. So I was able to come off of all the meds that I've been taking for those, which yeah. is hereditary for me. So I've been on those meds all my life, but, but I was able to come off them through regular floating. So, oh so like I said, I was strictly Western medicine before I discovered floating, but now I've kind of, you know, made the leap and now I'm all, you know, all about preventative alternative methods. Yeah. Um, not only do we have floating in the float center, but I once I discovered floating, I was like, wow, this is amazing. So I started looking at other things. So I mm -hmm. put other things in the center, like uh, magnetic resonance therapy, light therapy, acoustical sound therapy, uh, quantum uh, energy therapy. So I've got all these things. And it, you can all stack them on top of a float, or you can do them all individually. Really, the only uh, downfall of floating, and it's more so for women, but you have to get in the tank and get wet, which yes. involves doing your hair your and... Hair. Uh, everything else and if you get your hair dyed and all that you have to kind of plan your floating schedule around it but uh, but that's really the only side effect of floating so it's pretty amazing God, it is amazing i didn't know y'all brought zillas i know some people getting married test taking just help i'm excited about that but you breezed over some of these services just give us like a, a brief benefit of each of the services that you offer because i've never heard of uh the magnetic chair and he showed it to us so yeah i've got it's magnetic resonance therapy it's a big mm -hmm. chair that's got uh, circular coils around it those coils generate magnetic fields and you kind of sit in the middle of those fields and, and, and absorb all the energy mm. that's that's derived from them but then we have this thing called we call a rest station it's acoustical sound bed mm -hmm. the bed actually vibrates with special music mm. at the end of the day that's what they say we are is a vibration and if your vibration is off Nothing you do in life is going to be as good as it can be, whether that's sitting at home reading a book or whether that's running a marathon. Mm -hmm. um, a third thing we have is light therapy. It's called the Pandora Star. It's a light that you don't look at directly, but you look at it through your eyelids, and it kind of flashes and has uh, about 60 different protocols. It stimulates mm -hmm. all the, the neurons in your brain, so it keeps it active and fired up. Um, we have quantum energy therapy here. It's which, called a Tesla coil. You know, Nikola, Nikola Tesla came up with all these yeah. energy stuff, and he said there was a... There's the earth emits its own energy frequency and that's kind of what this Tesla coil does. So it's bringing you into alignment and balance. And, and with that, you know, we can, in, we take a voice print of your, your voice, which, you know, we hear as sound as humans, but the Tesla cube converts it to a frequency. So you're actually vibrating at a frequency like nature through your voice. And if you take this voice recording home and listen to it like twice a day, it helps resolve inner things inside of you that, that you may not even know is going on, but but you know that there's something in you that you're not completely happy with and, and this is going to work. And then we have infrared saunas. So uh, I don't know if anybody's tried an infrared sauna out there. It's kind of it's a sauna that heats you from the inside via light. Mm -hmm. Nice, just mm -hmm. steam, like a steam sauna. Definitely you should do that because we heard about the sauna from Joe Rogan, <laughs> the infrared. And I was like, well, who has one? Synergy Flow Center has infrared sauna. So now you could come out and try it. I was excited about it, but I didn't know the combination. That was that good? good? Joe Rogan's actually a big fan of floating too. He talks about floating and, yes. and infrared sauna. So yeah, both are really good. And we also, the last therapy we have here is called red light therapy. Um, it's very similar to sauna, but there's no heat involved, but you basically sit in front of a red light that, that is very high intensity and it puts the light on your body. Um, it's almost like a, a sun therapy, but the red light's not oh. it's not going to burn you like the sun or give mm -hmm. you skin cancer like the sun. Mm -hmm. But it does a lot of the same things. It's real good for your skin. It'll give you healthier skin, get rid of wrinkles. They kind of call it the the uh, 
fountain of youth is kind of what red oh. light is for men. It gives you a testosterone boost. So the older we get, you know, we lose testosterone, but yeah. red light kind of gives you testosterone back. And, and so it's pretty an amazing thing. Mm -hmm. A lot of float centers don't have other alternative things. They yeah. just have floating. So um, the nice thing about, again, I built this place myself, so I'm not a franchise. I, I control everything. So I was able to kind of put in here what I, what I wanted to and, and again, not bring in what I didn't want to. So. And yeah, that is right. That's what makes you unique right. because he has all these other services. I am extremist, so I would do everything at one time. But yes, he's right. <laughs> one thing at a time. Well, thank you so much. You got to tell us where you located. What's your website? How can we get connected to you? So we're in uh, Old Town Alexandria, kind of the north end of Old Town Alexandria, kind of on the closer to the Crystal City side of the house. Mm -hmm. um, 1240 North Pitt Street. It's in a it's it, it's in a building that kind of looks industrial, so it doesn't look so commercial from the outside. But we've got dedicated off-street parking, so there's five parking spots. So and there's a there's a side entrance that you can come in from the parking spot, or we've got an elevator that you can come down from the main main office building. We're down in the basement. Float centers being in a basement's ideal because there's no you want no set sound, mm -hmm. light, or any of that. So we don't have any windows mm -hmm. or anything like that. There is a chiropractor's office upstairs from us. Um, that has a massage therapist and acupuncturist, so you can actually come to this building and, and wow. get a bunch of health-related stuff done. Um, so the website's uh, it's www.synergyfloatcenter.com. Everything's there's information about everything on our website. Uh, again, you can link to our Facebook or our Instagram. All that's on our from our website, so you can get on it. Um, what else? That's about it. I'm excited about it. Y'all have to come out, but. You know, thank you, Healthy Fit Family. You know, you have to like and share. You have to tell everybody about floating and come out here and check it out and these other services, which I did not do yet. But I am very interested about the magnetic therapy. I am. Just to see. I will let you know how it goes. But make sure you like and share. I will see you next Sunday. But you're going to have to give us some final words. You know, I, I, floating just kind of makes you a better person. Mm. Mentally, physically, spiritually. I mean, so... And a float typically lasts for about three days, so it's kind of naive thought of mine. But you know, I feel like I'm doing my little part to save the world one floater oh. at a time. So if we could get everybody floating every three days, I think the world would be such an amazing place. We wouldn't have wars. People, pick, you can't be mean to somebody after a float. You can't be mean to an animal or anything else. So the world would just be a much nicer place if everybody floated. So, oh so, my. so do it for yourself. Do it for your significant other. Do it for your family. Love it. Just make you a better person. Love him. <laughs> Don't you just want to come here now? One float at a time. Thank you so much. All right, guys. See you next Sunday.